So, so the background is that we've seen uh, uh, that the proportion of people with uh, you know, supposedly having SPMS varies between different data sources, whether different materials from different countries, different MS registries. And of course, we wonder why, why that is. Is that because uh, patients with SPMS are neglected by MS care? Um, or is it because they are they may actually be misclassified. And therefore, now that we are starting to get treatments that are specifically approved for SPMS, it becomes more important for us to know, you know, what is the proportion uh, these days of SPMS? Um, and um, I mean, this is important for us as physicians to plan our treatments, to plan our healthcare, um, plan economically, possibly because of depending on your system. So it became really important to know. And um, that's why we thought that an objective algorithm that would designate patients into RRMS or SPMS would be a useful thing, at least in research uh, and also in healthcare planning, potentially also in the clinical situation, depending on how you can use it. So um, the idea, you know, there have been several different um, ways of, of trying to find the best way uh, to assign M RRMS and SPMS. And uh, a general problem with those is that they require quite a bit of information, most typically several uh, points of EDA, EDSS measurement. Um, whereas in practical life, as well as in many databases, you have the scarcity of EDSS points. So we wanted to set up something simple that required just H and one EDSS. And if we could uh, find out an algorithm that could actually do a good job based only on those two variables, then that would be great. And that's what we set out to do. And that in the end appeared to be possible. And we applied uh, some machine learning techniques to uh, categorize patients into age groups and EDSS groups. And then we came up with the best model. We pruned the model to bring it down to something more practical. And um, that ended up in this algorithm that we now have um, as this decision tree um, classification and, and it's not yet published I should say it, it's submitted likely to be published pretty soon